Hey, what's going on card collectors? Hoops and Homers here. And bringing you a video that is way, way, way overdue. Um, I haven't really shown off any of my uh, cards since February. Um, just life's gotten in the way. Other priorities going on and other hobbies i um, been getting involved with. So majority of you, you that you see here, this is all going to be either um, the two car or three card shows I attended locally, Chicagoland area, a Com C order, and uh, just a small amount of eBay purchases. Um, I only purchased one card. Uh, it's a White Sox rookie. I'll show that in a little bit, but only one card in June um, and then nothing in July. So I've just been saving everything up for the national, uh, just selling, selling, selling a bunch of cards. And um, I am ready for the national this coming weekend. It's gonna be pretty awesome. Uh, I may do one video on maybe Thursday um, of my wish list, what I'm looking for at the national. And then uh, it'll be interesting, interesting to see if I get those um, cards I'm looking for. Um, that's gonna be on, I'm going on Friday, cause I'm local so I can commute. Uh, so I'm going on Friday, uh, looking to get Greg Lazinski's autograph there, the bull, and also going on Sunday. Uh, Sunday may not be a full day. S Friday will definitely be a, f a full day and looking to uh, meet some fellow YouTubers at that um, the after party. So, um, yeah, and I've also gotten super laser focused on uh, what I'm collecting now. So these piles here represent everything that I am collecting now. Um, and it makes it, it just makes it more fun, uh, more interesting, and um, you're not just collecting everything, right? You, no one could do that. Uh, you go broke, so. Um, so these piles represents a little bit of what I'm collecting. So I got variation cards I'm collecting. Um, these are refractors or numbered cards. White Sox PC. Rookies I collect, golf cards, wrestling, and basketball. Um, and then I just started dabbling in um, all-star memorabilia, swatches, relics, whatever you want to call it, um, cards. Because so the warm-up jerseys or the actual jerseys, you know, you, you know they're coming from that weekend that player played. So I think that holds a little bit more value in my mind. And it's also fun. I still think the all-star game means something. Uh, I enjoy it. Um, so yeah, actually let's start off with these. These are all, all these, this whole stack is from Com C, but I'll just burn through all this real quickly so it doesn't have to be a long video. Um, but I just thought they're, you know, cool cards. Um, yeah. So pool holes, another pool holes. And you can get these really cheap on Com C. Com -C. Some Mookies, Mookie, Mookie. I think that like I don't think I paid more than twenty dollars for a single one. Um, Serves that's a great card. I love it, and I love trying to get the actual picture with the actual relic that's in there. Uh, I am going to be looking for a Mike Trout All Star card because on eBay the, most, the cheapest one I found was seventy dollars, um, and this is Harper's uh, rookie All Star game, and this is the one I paid uh, twenty dollars for. Still a great card. But I couldn't find anything less than seventy dollars for Trout's All Star cards. So um, hopefully I can find an All Star relic card of his, much cheaper than that. This is the only Project uh, Seventy card I picked up this whole year. It's the Keith Shores Max Scherzer. I just thought a little nod to eighties nostalgia. Um, which I'm a fan of. Great card. I like it. Here is some cards IPC Trout and Griffey. So this was pulled from my. Hobby Box Series 2 I picked up. This was uh, Turn Back the Clock from Topsaw.com. Uh, I thought it was cool to see him on draft day. That glitter sucks. I apologize for that. This is from Card Show. And uh, this is in the dollar bins from National Baseball Card Day. From Topps Gallery. Griffey Bowman. And Griffey Score with Blue Border. Looks sharp. All pretty well centered. Good corners on them. Uh, let's get into the variation cards, which are near and dear to my heart. These are, I, I love collecting these cards. I don't know. Um, the only thing that makes me, not nervous, but it makes me wonder about like, so you got your, your print count for your normal base card, right? Tops never announces what, how many 
um, actual production of the variations there are. But they do say like one out of seven packs or whatever it is. But regardless, I still like collecting them. I think they're unique. Um, so this is from Heritage, the Action Variations, Harper, Harper. This is this year's Heritage, El Nino. Javi Baez, this actually came from the Javi box I, I pulled that from the Javi box this year. This is from 18, 19, especially the love is in here's this year's um, Mad Max. I remember watching this game and he actually argued with the ump. Uh, this is a quarantine game from 2020. He was arguing with the umpire. He got kicked out of the game being in the stands. I thought it was hilarious. There's Mookie. Soto holding the cutout. Thought that was a great card. This actually came from the jumbo box I pulled from. Uh, I pulled this from the jumbo box from this year, uh, Series One. Look real closely, NYPD or uh, Fire Department. There's Otani, great card. The Babe. This is on uh, eBay purchase for sure. This was at the card show uh, by me, local card show, and so is this Griffey, also from the local card show. Right. I love the variations. Next up, we've got all the cards that shine or have numbers to them. And the first ones I have here are from my Hobby Box of Series 2 this year. Um, Jazz Chisholm, Refractor, Rookie, in with Dylan Carlson. Don't hear much about Dylan Carlson. I don't even know if he's on the team right now. Um, Jazz is just, he was pretty hot. I think he slowed off after the All-Star break. Um, but this was the big hit from the box. It's a Mojo Refractor. I'm just not getting the justice with this, uh, this, this lighting, but there it goes a little bit. And then it was numbered out of 150. It's not really picking it up, but. That's right over there. Anyway, that was a nice hit from uh, the box. And uh, yeah, let's see. Wander Mania finally uh, hit baseball this year. And I was uh, a little bit of FOMO when I was at a card show, a little card show, so I had to pick up two. And the prices were good. He had like, he came up like that Tuesday, and I went to the card show on, on that Sunday. And um, I was surprised there wasn't more of his product out there. And I'm surprised it wasn't. Uh, going as crazy as it was so um, this is from a dollar bin and then the next one is from insert set from Bowman draft um, and this was only $20 uh, the cracked ice or sapphire however you want to say it and numbered I thought that was a nice little score Next up here's some Mad Max. I think this is the first time he won to Cy Young. That's gold, numbered, out of 2017. 14, 14. Here's another Mad Max from 18, Tops Chrome Gold. This is out of 50. I should tell him I'm a, I'm a big Scherzer fan. He's an outstanding pitcher. I think he's definitely going in the Hall of Fame. And some refractors here. Nice one of Harper, back with the Nationals. These are, a lot of these are just dollar bin cards that I picked up at the, the card show or um, Com C. Um, here's a nice Walker Bueller. It's blue. He's been having a great season. Number 150. Dollar bin. Dollar bin. Couldn't believe it. Here's a nice Mookie, the green refractor. Reminds me of the green monster. So I picked that one up. Same thing with this. Uh, and that is numbered out of 50 as well i believe no 99 26 out of 99 and here was a nice um from last year's allen and gilter chrome poppy and that one is numbered out of 50 i believe no 99 man i'm getting these all wrong anyway great card ipc red Sox as well diamond anniversary scherzer this is a com c card ortiz Eric, those back pages did a little um, a little segment on this on one of his videos about the value of this card. Um, this was his last Chrome, and also um, it's a negative, and everyone knows that the Chrome negative for that year 
um, was a very short print. So this looked very good on ComC's Com photos. So they have like updated photos and then they have like the old photos. This thankfully was an updated video of a photo and um, everything looked great on it. So when submitting for grading becomes more affordable, that is definitely getting submitted. Here's Otani, his last Chrome card, purple or pink variation. Last Otani card, future Hall of Famer. Here's Scherzer. The Sipia of Scherzer that year. Cedric Mullins, rookie Sipia. He's having a nice season. There's a couple bellies. Scherzer from 17 Chrome. Noah Syndergaard. The Max Mad Max Orange matches his Detroit days. That was a sharp card. The Com C order. It's Harper last year in the pink variation. It's so the thing about Chrome, these refractors, I'd rather, you know, do a large order of the cards I want from Com C or a lot buy from um, eBay as opposed to spending, you know, two hundred and thirty or three hundred dollars for a box of Topps Chrome, you know? I remember at the National in 2019, is the first time I ever bought a box of Topps Chrome, and it was 120. Now, like everything else, it's got skyrocketed. So I'm just looking at for value on uh, Com C with just picking up these for, you know, dollar here, $2 here, $3 there. There's a nice one of bets. All right, next up, we'll go through a couple of rookies. I bought a box, happy box of um, of uh, Stadium Club this year. Nothing, nothing big in there, but that is, I it's my favorite product. So a lot of those cards just go straight into the binder, and I have a couple, I have two Stadium Club binders going right now, and then I just wanted to show off Bobby Dolbeck's card from this year. I thought it was excellent, great card. This is from the Card Show. Brandon Lowe, he's having a great season. Numbered his Bowman um, rookie card. Devers Heritage insert set uh, from 18. Here's a nice conditioned uh, Freddie Lynn card, his rookie cup. Not his rookie, but his rookie cup. And I saw this in a dollar bin. I was like, wow, um, really good condition. Uh, John Lester, Chrome Refractor rookie. I'm sorry, Bowman Refractor rookie. Here's Trey Turner's rookie card, Chrome. Here's his Trey Turner's um, uh, archives rookie. Ryan Howard, I was, I was a big fan of his. Found these in a dollar bin. So there's his Flair rookie, and here's his Tops Prospects rookie. Here's some White Sox cards I picked up. Some of this stuff is going to be, like I said, coming from Series 2 and Stadium Club uh, hobby boxes from this year. There's Crochet. Nick Madrigal with the throwback. Another crochet. Nick Madrigal. See a theme here? <laughs> crochet. <laughs> this is uh, a, definitely an eBay order. <laughs> the Urminator, who just retired and then unretired. <laughs> so he's in AAA right now. Started out the season excellent. I bought this off of eBay the moment he started going bananas. And as you can see, um, yeah. Maybe just a uh, flash in a pan, who knows. I think Tony LaRusso talked to him in the unretiring. <laughs> uh, here's another crochet. This is this year's uh, Top Throwback Thursday. Great card. This year's Bowman's. Here's another Nick Madrigal. And this is the Andrew Vaughn short print uh, photo variation. Spring training photo, of course. I think they look great. And the fantastic announcer for the White Sox, Steve Stone. Here's his rookie card from 72. Um, I can't see. My eyes are going. I'm getting old. But someone let me know. I think this is 70, 72. It's definitely his rookie card. Here's Kopex, uh Scipio rookie from um, 19. Uh, he's just a fantastic pitcher. Um, once he gets it together and can pitch more than two innings, I think he's going to be a really good starter for the White Sox come next year. Rodon. 
rookie possible um, Cy Young candidate, I would say. I think it's safe to say that. Um, he's just having an outstanding year. Topped off by the no-hitter. This is another Chrome rookie. Here's a couple 83 Lazinskis. This is the one I'm looking to get signed. I haven't decided if I'm if it's gonna be this or his 81 in action. Um, time will tell. And then there's a prospect in the White Sox, it's Johan Sepsis, his brother, younger brother. Um Yo you Quile? Regardless, I saw it at a at a card shop um, when I went to pick up one of my hobby boxes and uh, the price was under twenty dollars. I said, "Why not give it? A, you know, take a chance on it." It's his leaf metal um, refractor auto. So we'll see what happens with this kid if he even comes up. Here's a great card to have. Um, super happy to have it in my collection. This is from the card show locally. It is um, a Bray use chrome uh, base uh, auto. Uh, just a really nice card, nice signature, um, and I didn't look at it closely, but I don't know if you get, the camera picks it up, but there's like a little surface, 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 um, little mark there, but you know, it's not going to get graded. Um, it's just great to have in my collection. I think he's top five White Sox uh, players of all time. Love it. Here's a 59 early win, same card show. Um, at the National, I have a list of 59 cards that I'm uh, going after. Uh, raw or graded, it doesn't matter. Uh, it's going to be best price for me, but um, I'm glad I knocked this one off the list of my uh, 59 cards I'm looking for. And we got a 1970s Luis Aparicio. Great card. Those throwback uniforms. That's, I uh, don't know, two more for the White Sox. So here's a 2014 um, Tops update. This is Jose Abreu's first time um, being an all-star. And it is numbered out of 2014. And this was less than $20 uh, on eBay. And, you know, the way grading is now, can not pass that one up. And then also, this is the only card I've bought in June. It was, it is the 20, uh, 21 tops gold of Dick Magical out of 2021 in the SGC9. And I love that they brought back the actual gold instead of the printed. As you can see, here's a Bray use. This one was PC, and I don't know if it picks it up. But that one's like printed. This one actually has the gold, which is in. But the only thing tops did right with this year's set, I could not stand. Um, this n small print of a name. I just saw the 2022 um, cards, what they're going to look like. They come out in February and much better, much better design, much better looking cards. All right. I appreciate you hanging on and uh, standing by and listening to all this, me ramble here, but I just wanted to show off these cards. Um, I know it's a, I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, but I appreciate you if you're still sticking around. Um, next is uh, my section of golf cards I picked up. This is um, from Upper Deck, the Bear, and I got another one of Jack. This is from um, uh, what's it called? The um, Sports Royalty. It's another Upper Deck product. Um, just added to the Jack Nicholas PC. Here's a Jordan Spieth. Don't the first pitch at Fenway. Thought that was a cool card. Jordan playing golf. SP upper deck. Greg Norman pro set rookie card. Here's uh, one of my favorite players, Mark O'Mara. Uh, SP front nine relic. Here's a nice Mike Piazza with the golf golf club. I actually saw this on uh, Bob Lewis Instagram page, and uh, I was like, I didn't even know they made this card, so I had to go hunt it down and pick it up for like ninety nine cents. <laughs> Uh, here's a Roy McElroy, Goodwin champion rookie. And same with one of my favorite players, Bubba Watson, rookie card, Goodwin champion. And I followed that up with uh, winning this back in March. Um, 
of Watson's uh, Upper Deck Auto. Nice card. Next up, Wrestling, Tops Living, came out that set. Uh, the first card, I believe, was Stone Cold and a female wrestler. I can't remember which one. But anyway, picked up the Undertaker from that set, uh, Tops.com. And same design, except this is from Tops Archives, Daniel Bryant. The SmackDown card. Then now the rest of these, including this Daniel Bryant, these are all a, a huge Com C order. So we've got Daniel Bryant, Undertaker, from the 87 set of Macho Man Elizabeth, great card. Sticker of Ricky the Dragon from the 85 set. So some classic cards. Mean Gene, great picture to award. These were all pretty well centered um, and they looked in good condition. Bray, Wyatt, Bray Wyatt's rookie card. Fireflies, great card. JYD and Hillbilly Jim. Then lastly, we got basketball to show off. And then this is a little bigger stack, so I'm gonna kind of go through them. Um, a lot of this stuff is not to be flipped, it's just PC stuff. Um, Larry Legend. So this is from a local show, uh, The Refractor, Top's Finest, of uh, my favorites, Mark Price. It's a nice Barkley. A lot of these are dollar, dollar bin cards. Nice Reggie. I've got a Jordan of this uh, sitting at PSA, and I submitted it last August. Hopefully I get it back before this August. It's with JT. Um, here's some Olympic cards this year's. Last year's Mosaic. I say this year's, I meant this year's Prism. Mosaic, so Larry, Silver, these are all Silvers. This year's um, AI. It's a nice Jordan, this is from a dollar bin. This was in a dollar bin. Uh, back in Mar uh, February, February when I went to a card show in Indiana with uh, one of my buddies. Here's a... Vinsanity, rookie card, tops. Blake Griffin, rookie card. This year's Prism. Um, and I I forget what this one's called. Not Pulsar, but it's the fireworks insert of uh, Luca. This year's Luca's green. I have all the Lucas, including the rookie, um, his green cards. So I'm gonna keep try keeping that going. Uh, here's Dwayne Wade, Cracked Ice, Orange. And this is a Jalen Brown Crusaders rookie. Next up is a couple of XPs, a couple champions. You may have heard of them. Shaquille O'Neal, this was from the card show back in February in Indiana. And I also picked up the Kobe. Two great cards. So some nice cards of Kobe Stadium Club, which I'll be looking for at the National if they have any Stadium Club uh, packs from back in the early 2000s. There's a nice dirt, second year dirt. Here's a silver hyped, I believe this is from tw uh, 20, yeah, 19, 2019, 2020. Curry, here's the green variation, prism of Karl Malone. And of Stockton, great cards, great set. Larry Legend, awesome card. Dwayne Wade, Prism, Silver, from when he was with the Bulls, time with the Bulls. It's another one was time with the Bulls. Red variation, is that numbered? No, it's not. Corkeen's Tops Optic. I'm a Bulls fan if you haven't figured it out from these ones. Also, a few Devin Bookers. He had a great series, didn't he? I was really pulling for Phoenix to win it, but I'm glad Chris Paul won. I mean, not Chris Paul. Um, I'm glad um, um, Giannis won from the Bucks. Here's a purple variation. Optic. Another purple prism. 
Here's a Donruss. Um, I don't know what this is. It's like a burst, but it is the first Evan Booker card I picked up. I believe it's his second year. And um, it just doesn't, the camera doesn't do it justice how this comes off. It's such a nice card. It's a couple of Zach Levines. This is his first card, uh, his first prism in red. His first prism card. And then here's his first, this is contenders, his first um, picture of him in a Bulls uniform. And that is number. No, but sure not, it's just silver. Still a great card. And I love those uniforms when they were wearing them. This one is numbered out of 75. It's uh, one of the best cards I picked up over the last couple of months. It's Chris Mullins, Immaculate, uh, Patch Auto. One of my all time favorite players. Really nice. Next is a big card I picked up. Um, it is 0506 Tops Rookie of Chris Paul in the SGC9. Looks good in the tux and the suit. Really happy to have this card in my collection. And this is this was before the playoffs started. Um, I'm glad I got it when I did. Next up is a Jordan. The reason I picked this up is because this one Jordan um, decided to wear his uh, on his retirement tour the the Jordans Jordan ones. This thing is a great, fantastic card. A little bit of shining in, in the lettering there, but happy to have that one. And lastly, it is uh, Jason Tatum uh, from 2018. His second year, Optic, Silver. Not a bad price for a card that is graded. I do collect the nines and sell my tens, so. That's it. Hopefully you're enjoying this, uh, enjoying this weekend. Good luck to everyone that's going to the National. Hope you find what you're looking for. Thanks for sticking around. I appreciate it. See ya.